today, 22nd? It's April 22nd, 2023, Saturday morning. And we're gonna get started on this car. Where we left off, we, we got it off the frame and assessed what, what, what needed to happen. And uh, you did order the outer rockers and those came in from Dynacorn. So good. So we're gonna do the firewall first. That way we get it out the way. It's right here front and center. It should be pretty easy to do. So you wanna do, you. so so we're gonna delete the heater stuff, right? We're gonna delete the wiper motor completely. Yep. No wipers. So wiper motor completely gone, which it's already completely gone. Uh, you gonna do the body mount deal? Yep. But we can't do that because you don't got cage nuts yet. I do have cage nuts. Okay, you bought them? Yes. Okay. Okay, we can do that. Uh, Just like the red rocket in your car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, mm, I guess we could. We got to get it off of this stuff. And then uh, brake booster. You, you bought a contraption to put it on the inside of the car, right? So brake booster completely gone. Steering, you got the CPP little ball swivel thing. So the, the boot completely gone and the American Auto Wire gonna be on the inside of the car. E-brake? No. No e-brake. No safety. <laughs> no wipers, no brakes. No wipers, no brakes. So, Dang. So I think you come out straight, man. Yeah, going straight. Instead of instead of tying it to this, because then it's gonna it's gonna be like you know. No thing. Go straight, and then put like a little piece like. Either that or leave it open for up. wiring. Leave it open for wiring like we did mine. I think it should be one piece, man. A one piece firewall. We can do it. So all we're gonna do first is uh, uh, first uh, cut cut it all out, cut cut all the bad out, and then we start we start tracing with some poster board, and then uh, we got some 18 gauge steel. I got some yesterday. Pretty straightforward. I think we can get that. We can definitely get it tacked in today. Definitely. So we'll bring you guys back once we start working. All right, so we got the steering column out, which that was what, just a couple bolts. And then the, uh, the master cylinder bracket, that's gone. E-brake pulley's gone. Wiper's gone. We had to drill, drill a couple of those out. They were, they were kind of stuck in there. So next up, we're just gonna cut all the high spots. So this is the ball we was talking about over here. That's gonna fall somewhere around there. So we gotta cut all these high spots out on here, 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 and really that's about it. But any any of the bad rust that's bad, we'll cut that out too. And then, uh, yeah, that's the, uh, the part number for this uh, steering column thing. I never used one. We'll see. See, it's made nice. But you say you're going to powder coat this or paint it. Yeah, I want it black. Black. All right. So, bring you guys back once we start getting the uh, template made. Made the hole bigger. Yep. All right, so now we're gonna uh, clean up and face our temple. All 
All right, so here we are. So we got our cardboard or uh, poster board template. Uh, so what we've done is we completely removed this lip right here where the wiper was bulging out, chopped all that, cut this lip, hammered this down a little bit flat. Um, pretty much it. Mark this, that steering ball on the inside. So we're gonna take that out. We gotta put a piece here, cover that up, and then cut a big square hole behind this for all the wiring to come down pretty much. For the engine. For the, for the engine, right, for the LS. So, moving right along. Oh, we gotta make these two. It's gonna be one piece. I like the one piece. Problem is it takes up a big sheet of steel, man, like a big chunk. All right, so we'll bring you guys back once we get the, uh, get the steel plate. What you think, Bobby? Is it? I like it, man. I like the, I like the shave lift up here. Should have, should have been doing that from the beginning. And the sides, like you don't even need that. Like the ball. How much more to you, to you sit down and weld? Thirty minutes. Yeah. All right. Do we'll that. Fix this later on. Fix that later on. That deal is right here. All right, so here we are, end of the day. What time is it? Almost eight? Yep. So about 12 hours, uh, 11 hours. 11 hours and we got the bulk of, well, he got the bulk of the work done. So it's a one piece firewall. Uh, who makes this, CPP? Yep. CPP steering column bracket. Uh, we drilled a hole here to utilize any uh, of the American Auto Wire kit or any wires needed from the computer or anything like that. And then we drilled another hole over here. Got to keep going all the way to drill uh, for any uh, speaker wire, or power wire, anything like that for an amp or anything in the future. I'm going to be doing the, the AC stuff there. So uh, it's not quite done. I mean, we're going to fill that. Fill that. Fill this, fill this. We're gonna cap off the body mounts, with cage nuts. And then grind the welds. Grind the welds, yep. And then the so the brake booster is gonna be inside the car, which is gonna be new. Never done that. So I'm thinking we'll drill a hole for the line somewhere down here on the tow board. We'll figure that out. So wiper motor completely gone cap that off so we don't get water and then we also cut a hole behind this for any of the of the wires to come down to the engine so overall i like it i like the one piece job it's gonna block down pretty good so there's still some spots you know, like there just need a little bit more work but it ain't nothing what you think bobby i'm broken stressed <laughs> It's 18 gauge sheet metal. That's what I sell when I sell the firewall kits. 
I don't know that I'm gonna be doing a one piece though because it's it's really big to try and ship out. But I like the little contour right here. Shouldn't pose a problem with the motor at all. Hopefully not. I don't think so. Shouldn't the transmission comes out here. Yeah, out in the front. Yeah, just and like right motor. over. Yeah, the motor. Yeah. So I think we just hit this thing with some rattle can right now, man. Oh, and then we uh had to drill the holes for that. I flip. We flipped this because the. Uh, yeah, CPP calls for these <laughs> for these to be reversed with the nuts on the outside, which is crazy. You got the instructions? I don't know why anybody would want to do that, man. When it's nice and recessed with Allen heads. Exterior wall. With the nut. With the nut outside. It's crazy, man. Why would you want that when you have this nice recess? So we're going to paint that black or powder coat it possibly. Yeah. Looking good, man. Looking good. So I think uh, maybe another three hours total, four, half a day to knock this out and then start on the floor. So I think a, a, a good project would be uh, finish the floor or finish the firewall next weekend and then cut the floor out. And do, and do that break. And, and do the break thing inside the floor. So our plan is cut the floorboard out on, on the lift like this. And then you can work on the firewall standing up facing this way, easy, versus laying down up under the dash trying to figure out where that thing goes. But I think that's a good that's a good plan, man, to uh, knock out this firewall next weekend and then cut the rest out. And that's probably a full day. And then the following, put the floor in. All right, so? Yeah, we're still waiting on door pins. Door hinge pins, yep. The rock, outer rockers came in. We mentioned that earlier. So move right along, man. Looking good. Bring you guys back once we get some more work.